Oh hi, if you are an oldie but goldie, welcome back to this video. Come on in and get comfortable. If you are new, my name is Louise Pentland and I make videos about motherhood and lifestyle. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of the things I do to make that back to school transition so much easier. So if you didn't know, I have an eight year old daughter called Darcy and a one year old daughter called Pearl. So I'm familiar with the back to school routine every September. And there's a few things that I have picked up along the years that have really made my life so much easier. So this video is sponsored by Amazon Prime Wardrobe who are amazing for last minute back to school things. I don't know about you, but in the summer I feel really smug because I feel like I've bought everything I need to buy, I've checked the PE kit, see what fits from last year, what doesn't, etc, etc. I send off to school and then I realise there are things I have missed off the list. This is where Amazon Prime wardrobe is handy. So this is my Prime wardrobe bag. If you're not familiar, Prime wardrobe is a service that allows you to order between three and eight items. Um, there's no upfront charge for them. It's delivered within one to two days. You get your bag, you can try things on, see if it fits, etc. And then the things that you do want to keep, you pay for, and the things you don't, you just send back. It's very easy to return things. I have tried it. Um, it's just a really nifty service if, um, for example, you're not quite sure what size shoe is going to fit your child so you can order a couple of pairs and then try them on and see because sometimes with things like that you really do need to try them on. Um, it's also very Moorish. I actually wanted to pick a couple of extra things but I'll link below everything that I ordered and also the two other things I really wanted to pick for the school run but I thought it's a bit of a push. This is about schools but I was like, you know, mummy needs a new outfit for the school run <laughs> to make life smoother. Um, I'll just I'll show you what I bought because it might be interesting to you. So, first things first, I'm the realist. Second thing second, here we go. First thing I picked up was this little bag. I thought this would be really handy for Darcy's clubs. It's just the right size for it not to be really enormous on her. You know when you see tiny little school children with like giant backpacks. I wanted something reasonably small that wouldn't get very easily dirty. This is like a white clean fabric. I would be so handy for all her dance clubs. She does so many dance clubs. So I thought we could put ballet shoes in here, we could put tap shoes, we could put leotards, um, snacks, all that kind of stuff. Just pop that in, pop it on her peg, and I know she's sorted. That's the kind of thing I don't think to buy because it's not on the list. They don't put like clubs bag on the list. You're just meant to think of that. But you know what it's like. You get to school, you're a week in, and then you, then you realise where the holes are in things, which is why <laughs> this is very handy. Okay, next up we have shoes. I bought some Geox trainers. I have the black plimsolls for her for inside PE, but she does need a new pair of outside PE trainers. And I thought that the ones she had fit and then tried them on like the day before she started back at school. They don't, they're too small. So we've ordered new ones. Um, I picked these because she's had Geox before and they were great. She really likes them. They're Velcro, they're pink. She's eight, what's not to love? So the next thing I picked up is a pair of school shoes. Um, these are the Clarks brand, which is a brand I really trust for shoes. Um, obviously she does have a pair of shoes that she's going to school in, but we go through shoes very quickly. Um, also I like to kind of have a couple of pairs that we go between in case ones get scuffed and dirty and I just need to, you know, sort them out a little bit or if she leaves a pair at her dad's house or anything like that, it's always handy to have extra pairs of school shoes. But these will be ones that we'll have to try on and if they're too big I'll just send them back because um, there's no point keeping hold of them if we can't use them at the moment. Um, so we will see about these. The next thing I picked up was a coat. I didn't buy a school coat for her in the summer because it's really not been that cold lately. Um, the first week back was really warm. In fact, she didn't even want to wear her school jumper. So I wasn't too worried about like rushing to get that. So when I saw it on here, I was like, oh, perfect. Yes, I will add that to my basket, that's handy. Um, it's this lovely pink one. It's actually from Jules. Um, and it's from the, just says, the Trusted Warm Welcome Collection. That's what you want, isn't it? Just thought this is easy. Um, I think it will wash well. It's got pockets. It's just a like good wearing coat. So we'll see what she thinks of that. I think she'll look really cute in it. It looks warm and snuggly and exactly what you want from a school coat, really. Right, last two items. Let's put you down here. Um, I really love that they have brands that I would normally shop with, like the black bag was New Look and Jules and Clarks. These are brands that I know and love, so I like that they have that. Um, I should mention it's not just for children or last minute back to school bits, it's um, men, women, 
accessories, shoes, clothes, it's got everything for everyone, just solo Chanel. I also picked up this little t-shirt for her, this is Disney obviously, it's got Mickey Mouse on there, this is for one of her clubs where she needs her own clothes and I saw this and just thought oh yeah she'll like that, that's cute, so I've picked that up. If I'm honest, if they did that in my size, I would really like that. To tuck it into jeans and like wear with a really nice red lipstick or something. Do you ever do that? Feel slightly jealous of your children's clothes. <laughs> now, you know, at the beginning, I said that a new outfit for mummy on the school run wasn't strictly necessary and doesn't really belong in a video that's talking about how to make the back to school transition easier. I'm going to take it back because I think actually it is important to feel fabulous on the school run and that does make life easier and I bought a dress myself, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. It's from the New Look um, Plus a Curves collection. It's leopard print. Um, I just thought that looks like a really easy maxi dress <laughs> to wear on the school run. And just look fabulous on the playground, you know? I'll give it a little try on. Hopefully it will fit nicely. Um, you'll be seeing it on the screen now. So I'll be doing a thumbs up or a thumbs down if it fits nicely and if I'm going to keep it. And then in with the package you get a little sort of leaflety thing with all the information on how you return. Mine's got a little sticker in, I'll just put that down because I've got my personal information on. But shows you how it works, it's really easy. So the stuff that you are not keeping, you return. And the stuff that you are keeping, you keep. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, mini haul there and a big tip for if you need last minute back to school bits. I've written a couple of other tips down that I thought might be helpful and one of them is to go onto your school website or go into your school office and ask for all the dates for the whole year. I know this sounds extra because who's thinking about sports day in June right now when it's September and we haven't even like done Harvest Festival and the Christmas Carol service. But if you get as many dates as you can, and generally schools kind of like have those dates already kind of in their calendar, and add them to your calendar, whether it's on your laptop or you've got a file of facts if you're old school or a phone, but just having all those dates in will save you a world of grief in the future when you accidentally book a big work commitment in and it falls on like the Easter bonnet parade and then you've got a sad child or like an angry boss. Just having those things in, one, makes you feel smug and two, just keeps everything organised so that you can sit back and be like, I have got everything and you can be that parent, this leads me on to the next tip, in the WhatsApp group, which you should join, that knows when all the dates are. Now, I have recently rejoined our school WhatsApp group. I unjoined myself about a year ago because WhatsApp, I find it like really stressful because there's so many notifications. But by not being in it, I was missing out on loads of social things and I was kind of just missing out on bonding with the other mums. So I, this summer was like, hey, <laughs> hey, it's me, <laughs> can I come back please? Um, and it's really handy because not only is it nice to have mummy friends and often they arrange like social things to be involved in, it means if you're not sure of a date of something, you can just like whip yourself in there and be like, hi guys, does anybody know? Like, is it the bake sale tomorrow? Is it bring a teddy bear to school day tomorrow? All those things that they often have they will know. So they are a wealth of information and you want to be involved with them. Let me just check my notes. I've got plan the year. Uh, don't panic if you don't have everything. Join the Facebook or WhatsApp groups. Ask small questions. So I went on Instagram the other day and I posted this photo of me when I just started school. And I talked about how when I picked Darcy from school and I say to her, what did you do at school today? I get not much. Or I'll say, what did you learn at school today? Nothing can't remember like honestly it's like getting blood out of stone sometimes trying to ask my child what she did at school and I was talking to a friend of mine about it it was actually Marie bits and clips and she said don't ask big questions like that it's too much for them it's they've, they've done loads of things at school and they've learnt loads of things at school and they can't pick which things to tell you and it's just easy for them to go nothing ask small questions so I always always start with and you can start with whatever you want obviously but I start with did you have lunch today? Now I know that she has lunch every day, but she it's easy for her to answer, so it's an easy win, yes. And then I say, what did you have? 
and we've got ourselves into a bit of a conversation and on my Instagram picture I left a list of some suggested questions and then there were hundreds of responses of other questions that other people ask, things like what made you smile today, what was hard today, did anyone do something kind for you today, all of those little questions that encourage a response, then you can get the ball rolling and then you can ask um, bigger questions or just piece together from all the smaller questions and you know get a bit of info about their day because as much as we were all looking forward probably a little bit to September and normality we miss them and I want to know what she's done and I'm always glad to have her back home again um which leads me on to my very last tip which is not really a tip it's more just like a bit of a warm cozy which is just don't sweat it if you're the mum that feels like she's always late or you feel like you look haggard on the school run or you've lost a form or you've missed off a bit of kit one day don't worry when you look back on your own childhood do you remember all those things probably not they're not a big deal you're not going to be the first mum or dad or parent who's ever you know been five minutes late or forgot the swimming kit or, or all those sorts of things do your very best it will be fine. It will all come out in the wash, as they say. Alrighty, if you have any good tips for getting back into the groove of back to school, do let me know. I will leave links to everything below. Um, thank you so much to Amazon for sponsoring this video. It's lovely to have you back. I've really enjoyed working with you again this year, and I will see you all very soon for my next upload. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!